What's happening, fellas? We are cruising around Margaritaville with the mayor. What's up, Mr. Mayor? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! <laughs> Welcome to Camp Margaritaville here in Central Florida, Auburndale. We are absolutely having a great time here. The weather's been beautiful. The campground is uh, second to none. Everything's basically brand new here from the roads to the sites to the landscaping. Everything's first class. And we're going to go get a tour from the mayor himself well, of the grounds here. We'll pull in here. This is what we call our premium pull-ins. Wow. And these are designed for motor. And when you pull in, they're 45 feet deep on pavers. On pavers. You can't beat that. And then each of them will have their own tiki bar. And in the tiki bar, we have a flat screen TV and a fan. These are real granite countertops. This is no fake stuff, man. This is the real you got a real. You got 10 granite granite right here. <laughs> this is this amazing. Is plug Look at the ceiling fan and flat screen TV. We got a refrigerator, a little Freaking storage awesome. door for your utensils. And then with the site. And power. Oh yeah, you get power outlets around. And then when you cook on your Kamado Joe, you have your Kamado Joe here. Oh my God! Look at that. That each That's just awesome. Gets. And look at the look at the uh, Astro Turf. Yeah. That is. How does this work? So you just open it up like so, and oh look at that. God. Look at that. Voila. Right Oh, it, it gets used, wow. but we have uh, our team that rolls around here every time you check out. I've seen it. The guys have been going all day long cleaning. Oh, yeah. We clean and sanitize everything after each guest checks out. You, so. won't, even find, you won't even find a piece of trash anywhere on, on this <laughs> campground or no, any cigarette butts or nothing. It's, it's spotless. Look at there. Real-time cooking over there. Heck, yeah. you got campers camping and having barbecues. So each site, you get your hammock and your chairs right here. And your palm trees, of palm course. Palm trees. Look at that sunset over the wall. Isn't that beautiful? Looks like we're in the Keys. It's snowy, snowy and cold in Connecticut. <laughs> and then you got water view over here. Yes. Oh, did we measure? Did we mention that it's waterfront too? Yeah, and uh, so we have other sites that are you know closer to the lake on that side, but in Lake Myrtle, the uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's ramps in the water, and those cables that uh, stick out of the water. Yep. So that's a cable park. There's no boats allowed in that water, and. The cable park, they pull you around on your knee boards, your you know, skis and stuff like that. And that sounds like fun. And <clears throat> where you see the smoothness and then the water changes, yeah, what's that's, that about? A, that's a boardwalk that goes all the way around the lake, in, in the center of the lake where they go skiing. So if you fall off your skis, you can hop up on the boardwalk and walk yourself all the way back to the start. No, that's cool. Yeah. I'll have to so, check that up up close. Yep. Up close. So these are our premium pull-in sites for your motor Ized motorhomes, class C's, B's, A's, pushers, toter homes. After spending an hour with three people helping me trying to cram into a 20 foot by 45 foot spot at Daytona, it was a joy to pull in here. It was dark <laughs> out. My rig's 76 feet long. It's a 45 foot toy hauler with a semi, Volvo. It's a handful. I didn't even have to ship down below third gear. You can just roll right through here. There's no big curbs. No, no it's this is set up specifically for RVs and it's very big rig friendly. I want to add that because um, that's a big deal when you're yeah. driving a big rig. You, you, can, you can't even get in this. At Daytona, I literally called in another campground, tried to find another spot because I, I couldn't. We got in there, but it was very stressful. Right. And that takes the fun out of it. With this, you can pull right into a first class site. Yeah. It's already got the chairs, the the, um, the tiki hut, the, the, the picnic tables or everything's, you know, the, the little barbie, the little fire pit here. Um, I mean, everything's a cut above what you'll find at any other campground that I've ever been to, and I've been camping for 30 years. I've never been We've to- We've never gotten no, anything. Hmm. We don't even have this at home. Yeah. <laughs> so I know, in I our kitchen we have granite, but, but this is- this These is, are nice, you can entertain. You know, and if the game's playing, you just pop on TV. Um, we were watching Junior, he's at home. He was posting videos of riding motorcycles today. We are watching them. We cast it from our phone onto that because it's a smart TV. Yes. And uh, it's, it's got speakers and everything. And, and this is hot water too right here. It's not oh, yeah. just cold water. Yep, and it's a big sink. So if you're washing your dishes from barbecuing. And then we got storage doors. If uh, you, you have your own stuff. utensils, you can put them in here and keep them dry. Wow. And a refrigerator. And a refrigerator, yes. I'd have to say this must set the standard uh, for RV camping. I mean, what, 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 what else could you add? 
I know, right? You know? Uh, hey, oh, you, you know what you could add? You could have a camper. Oh, guess what? They have those too, yeah. right behind you here. They actually, if you don't have a camper, they yeah. can rent you one, right? The whole row of them. Yeah, it's, uh, we have 75 cottages. So they, they're different floor plans. We have four different floor plans, sleeps up to six. And big king beds, huge bathrooms, kitchen, and everything in the kitchen supplied with knives, forks, spoons, plates. I would love to see an inside of one when we get a chance. We were at the RV show, and those are like little houses. Yeah, they're They're, they're not they're like a camper, it's like a house. Thing. Yep. Actually, they're like, you know, 14 by 45. It's yeah. like a park model. Yeah. yeah. But we call them a cottage. I, I, I mean, I could absolutely live in one of those full time, no, no Easily. doubt. Easily. Yeah. Easily. And ours here are actually rated for uh, category two hurricanes. Wow. So we did have a hurricane Let's come through here. Let's hope you don't have to test that. <laughs> I know, well, Ian come through here last year and we had to evacuate everybody. And mm -hmm. some of the uh, RVers, you know, full time, they don't have anywhere to go. So we put in the slides and awnings and everything that we could do, fill up the water tanks in the RVs, secured them down the best we can. And then everybody that didn't have anywhere to go, they had the RVs here. We put them in the cottages because we have a, our own weather station here at the resort because we have a, a couple pools at this time. And any time that the, the weather at a 10 mile radius around here, anything bad's going on, you know, we get alerted, the lights come on, sirens come on, wow. you, get, you get out of the pool. But on our weather station, we know the wind, direction, timing of if we have a storm coming. So we can send out text messages to all of our guests to forewarn them that, you know, there's a storm or whatever coming. So we knew the speed of the wind, Ian, when it was coming through here. So uh, it was safe enough to put everybody that was stay back. They went into the cottages and we had a happy ending. At the end of the hurricane, we lost three palm trees and that was it. All these, like these are thatched roofs like they have in South Africa, right? These last a so long So these long are, time. oh yeah. So, you know, the wind blew up the little things like this and then a day or two of relaxation in the sun, they leveled back out and like nothing happened. So well, While we were here hanging out today, we also noticed that you have professional, a lot of the campers here are next level. You got some really stunning units in here and, and some normal units, but there were people in here, a detail crew. Yes, uh, for hire that, That'll come out and detail your, your RV while you're here. Absolutely. And then, Later in the afternoon, the Grand Designs mobile RV rig, which not every campground has that. Mark DeCandy himself, probably the best RV tech in the country, yes. showed up and uh, we um, ended up chatting with him. So when you have a facility like this, it attracts those kind of services. So if you have an issue with your RV, you can get it fixed and you're not gonna have a problem pulling in here. I mean, I could back in here without without getting out and looking. I mean, this is, how, how many foot across is this? Uh, 35 by 45. So it's three times as, four times as wide as your RV. If you can't back into here, yeah, then just get a bus. Go just home take and a bus, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uber, Uber yeah. your RV here, have somebody else drive it. <laughs> Very cool. Like I said, all of the, um, all the roads are brand new. There's no curbs here to speak of, so you don't have to worry about ripping a tire off your fifth wheel or scuffing up your Alcoas on your Class A. Um, it's done right. It's specifically been built 100% for RVs from the minute you're walking the front door to the whole place. Pretty cool. Yeah. So we are going to have some more amenities in this property here. Wow. You see that palm tree? Oh, it's good. Right there's the palm tree, right? The big giant one. Yes. So in the palm tree, we have mom and dad American Eagle. Oh wow! Ooh. And this year we they uh, had two babies. Oh wow! And oh, wait, I can see the nest. See, so have four oh, yeah. eagles here. I see one there. Yep. So we had two babies, and she's sitting on them still because we have three cameras up in that tree that obviously film the birth and all that kind of stuff. Hillsborough County. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I'll see you in a bit. So eagles. Yes, eagles, they come every year and stay at their nice little tree, and that's right well, they off don't of... They, they don't stay here year, year round, they, they take off? Yeah, they, uh, the babies uh, get able to fly, and they go off, and then they come back next season. That's pretty cool. So here's another round of our premium pull-in sites for the motor coaches, and this has a little bit different motif, if you will. So here is our chill bar and chill pool. 
Gotta have a chill bar and pool, right? Of course. How you doing? Como estas, amigo? See, what do you got there? Everybody's happy and friendly here at Margaritaville. How's it going? Great, and yourself? Good, good. We're just here, down here to check out happy hour. They just spent it. Oh, it's just begun. We just got here. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So let's come in here. So this is... Um, this is called the, chi the, chill, chi chi the chill bar. The chill bar. And this is our newest bar. And it sits tree, right man. off of Lake Myrtle. Freaking awesome. Wow. This is beautiful. Look so these are that, huh? wow. these are zero walk-in pools. So you just walk in like it, it was a beach. That's beautiful. Well, we need to come out and hang out here tomorrow, Christy. Now, if you want to, the first time we've seen this, we haven't been down here. It's beautiful. If you want to walk over here, wow. You, I'm definitely coming here tomorrow. I'm, oh yeah, this is definitely. Don't call me tomorrow, guys. I'll be in the pool. <laughs> this, we named it definitely the right one, huh? Yeah. Come down here and chill. Yeah. Don't absolutely. do a thing. And then you know when you're when you're not here in the summer, but when we're here and it's a hundred degrees, you know we have all the look at this you our mean, furniture. You, there's got to be 120 chairs here. That oh yeah. But you notice what we do instead of those chairs that you got to fall into and then you yeah, need some help getting up. Hey, I'm not these, getting any younger. This is I nice, know, right? man. I can just sit right down. <laughs> yeah. So it's all the little small things that we thought of to offer our guests, you know, pure comfort here. Umbrellas everywhere. And then we just got these new umbrellas that go over so, so you, you can, can sit, sit in, in the water. water. Oh my God. And you see how awesome. this is just like a ledge that you can yeah, sit. Yeah, sit right there. Sit on. Yep. That's where you'll find me tomorrow, guys. <laughs> but I'll show you my private corner where if you can't find the mayor, I'm going to show you where I'm normally sitting, but okay. don't tell nobody. <laughs> but this wall is hand painted. That is beautiful. That is. Wow. And you see my little spot over there next to the uh, little tiki bar I see over that. there? Yeah. A little hideaway over there. Yo, it's beautiful. You do your meditating over there and get, yes. out, get out of the. Uh... It's got a little waterfall back there that he painted. That's pretty cool. Yes, sir. I think I'd fall asleep if I sat in there for too long. Oh yeah. So this is like looks like a little lagoon here. Is this filled yep. up with water at, at, at time or? Oh yeah, it, it gets water in it. Um, you know, in Florida we have to have retention ponds, and yep. we tried to make this a beautiful retention pond. It is pond. beautiful. <laughs> it is. So it's really be well done on landscaping. But it was so fun watching Keith paint that wall because that is all done by hand. That is amazing. Yeah, the uh, details on it are remarkable. Oh, it's amazing, right? Look at the bubbles in the in the yeah. waves as they're rolling up. I mean, it's, it's just yeah. amazing. So to your left is where the cable park is where you can hop on. And Describe what a cable park is for someone who may not know. All right, so you have, this is Lake Myrtle and there's no boats allowed on this water. And you come up to the dock and you see the blue wheels on the uh, horizontal. Yep cables there's a skiing rope hanging so they come by at about 15 miles an hour and you have the ski rope in your hand and the cable is constantly going around the lake 360 we need degrees. to film somebody doing this do they jump over them jumps out oh there? yeah oh yeah they have competitions out here where the kids come and do knee boards slalom skiing all that kind of stuff and you can change the speed what a brilliant um, idea oh yeah Slow for the old people like us and fast for the young kids who want to get scared. Yeah. <laughs> they kick in the big motors to pull us round people around the water. So. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. So you can ski all the way across the whole lake on the ropes. Well, come around here and you can see it's um, it's basically a circle. And earlier where I was saying the different view of the lake, see how this looks like a mirror? And then on the other side of the wood dock, yeah, it's kind of ripply. How does that happen? Because there's a, uh, a boardwalk that goes all the way around the lake where the cables are, pull you. Yep. And in the event that you fall off your skis, you swim to the dock and then you walk yourself all the way back here. That's awesome. Get the rope again and it pulls you out again. So, What a way to kill a day and get some exercise and have some fun. Right. And then we have our own boardwalk here. Have you mastered the, uh, the, the boardwalk skiing thing? Yes. You know how That's I master it? I don't do it. That's, <laughs> yeah. I saved myself. Well, I, I picture Christy doing it, but I don't know about me. I'm, it might be a long shot. Oh yeah, they they would need like a small Queen Mary to pull me around that. So, <laughs> and no boats allowed, so I'm this out. This pool is just just beautiful. 
So out wow. into the lake, we have a dock that you can fish off of. Wow. And the sun sets off of that. The Look sunset, at that, huh? It, it, they're beautiful. What kind, what kind of fish are in here? Bass. Big ones? Yes, uh, large mouth bass. Um, my buddy caught an 8.2 pounder out of here on a beetle spin. Just wow. a little little bait like this, 8.2 pounds. Everywhere you look, there's a really cool spot to sit, you know? Yeah. yeah. And if you don't like that one, there's 27 other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then all these chairs out here are all Adirondack chairs. Very comfortable. Yeah. Um, this, this is, and this is called the, the chill, this spot here, right? Yep, the chill bar, chill pool. And, then, uh, and then are, there, are there two bars on site here? Yes. Oh, yeah, we have two tiki bars. The main one is up by the, the other pool that we have. And in that pool, we have a 147-foot slide for the kids, meaning small kids and your size kids, so meaning you. You know, we looking around, I, I think of this saying my dad used to say all the time, if you're not happy right now, you'll never be happy. If you can't be happy here, yeah. I mean, just... And, and guess what? My wife Nina and I get to live here in paradise. Yeah, it is paradise. It was like 80 degrees, beautifully sunny. I took some pictures this morning, nothing but blue blue clouds in the skies, and it's been fantastic. I've had a tank top on since I got here. And I have my snowmobile jacket hanging up in the camper. If I drive 20 hours north to yeah. home, it's snowmobile jacket. Yeah. We literally got snow up there. Christy's mom sent a picture. She's got like two foot of snow in her backyard. And this oh dock my. is beautiful. And you got a, a whole patio out here too, huh? Oh yeah, so we can come out here. And then underneath the tiki, we got more this is, big this, screen TVs. This is probably my favorite spot in the whole campground I've seen right, right yeah this is just beautiful yeah I mean check it out man I'll uh right in central Florida too you know you don't have to go too far yeah Here we're we centrally located right between Tampa and Orlando 30 miles each way and you're there if you're going to the Tampa Supercross and you want the best amenities for your family uh, in Florida you need to come to Margaritaville guys this place is off the hook the only problem is your kids aren't going to want to leave <laughs> in fact, we met some campers at the RV show that um, were here. That's how we kind of found out about the place. Yeah. And, and they, they said that they took their kids to Disneyland and after coming here, and the kids said they wanted to come back here. They had yeah. more, more fun here than they did at Disney. Oh, yeah. Doing the wakeboarding and swimming in the pool and zooming around the campground. And yeah, and it's all inclusive. It's all right here. You don't have to leave the property. With the so. big screen TVs. Bring your laptop down here sit down and uh, if you if you're working on the road it's just just a beautiful spot to hang out yep. although working's the last thing on my mind right now <laughs> i hear you <laughs> and then if you're too tired to walk around it's uh we're on 68 acres so if you're too tired to walk we do have a whole beautiful fleet of brand new four-seater and six-seater golf carts and our six-seaters are smart golf carts you can bluetooth your phone to them it's got stereo Wow. And a backup camera with, you know, the screen and everything. Yeah, one of those over here. Oh, yeah, they're super nice. So a new addition that we just um, got all the equipment delivered last Friday. You got to check this out. So we have, currently we have two restaurants. One is called Frank and Lola's Pizzeria, and the other one is The Feeding Frenzy, which we live here. And you know when you eat the same thing all the time, you get tired of it. We're yep. not tired of it yet. It's really good food. So Michael is one of our food and beverage managers. Yep. And he loves smoking stuff. So Marty, uh, let's see. Full bar. Did we mention there's a full bar? Happy hour. Check this out. This is behind the scenes right here. Behind the scenes where the magic happens. So we... We changed this build right here. We screened it all in. And look at this, all brand new equipment for the smokers. Oh my God. So we got wow. one, two, three, four smokers. Big massive stainless steel smokers. Oh yeah, all screened in, you know. It's, it's wow. just US awesome. Star. You, primo stuff. Yeah. So now on top of the other two restaurants we have, we'll be able to offer smoked you name it, kind of meat. So, wow, yeah, super cool. Looks like you'd have, you have uh, could have like a big parties here. Oh I mean, yeah, we. How many, uh, how, what's the capacity here? There's got to be like what? How many, you can put hundreds, of, maybe a thousand people in this facility down oh, here with all the. Oh wait till you see our recreation center. That's like no other. <laughs> all the way to the floor, it is 
amazing. Wow. It's like you don't want to even walk on the floor. It's that amazing. Can I take your shoes off before you come in? Pretty much. No. More granite countertops everywhere you look. You guys must have a good connection for granite and pavers because everywhere you look, there's anchors. And That's it, man. It's all premium stuff. Rob, did you make sure to get all the attendees? Yes. <laughs> So here's some of our happy guests here. At Camp Everybody Margarita. happy here today? Everybody have fun. Yay! <laughs> these are all face in the house. these are all people that you got to be careful of because they're uh, you know the locals. Especially you see see that young lady right over there with the buccaneer shirt. She's a fine young lady right there. That's a, we're gonna say that. Oh yeah. Drinks are on the mirror, right? Oh. Drinks are on the Y'all come back on the second Tuesday of next week and it's all on me. <laughs> Everywhere you look, the new big screen TVs. All first class. Just beautiful. All the restrooms are all brand new. Bathrooms. I mean, that's kind of a big thing. Not so much for us guys, but for the ladies. Everything's spotless and brand new. And it's smells like it was just painted. And we have our hospitality team always cleaning yeah, this, and making uh, sure Everywhere these you are look, right. there's somebody walking around fixing or painting or cleaning or something. Yeah. All day long. You got a team. And you know, people think this is brand new. This February and 2023 will be two years old. Yeah. It's almost broken in. Almost. Love the white lights on the palm trees. I saw these um, big. Oh tractors oh ladies and gentlemen this this young man coming at us this guy he's responsible for all of our beautiful drinks and food ladies and gentlemen a round of applause for him this is ben <laughs> i'm sure those guys don't give you a round of applause for sure <laughs> oh, they, they, love me in there. They, don't, they just don't know it yet ben is our food and beverage director and he he's got the menus for both drinks and food here and tell them a little bit about the um, I just walked them through the new uh, the behind the scenes barbecue station. So we it, it came from the story we had a food truck down here and we found decided to run barbecue out of it and it started doing really well so went back to ownership and said hey let's put a barbecue shack on here so as you saw we went ahead and did that. The goal is yeah, to have it open in a couple weeks um, we got a pretty good recipe for ribs and for, for, uh, for pork so and chicken so we're hoping to get that open by Valentine's Day, and we're retrofitting the food truck that was here to an ice cream and coffee truck. Oh, so yeah. That's in the works, too. That'll be a big hit with that'll, everybody, that'll the big, big kids hit. and the little kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that'll be somewhere located. Got to have our caffeine and coffee. Exactly. And what be better way to start, start be the day? That'll be located up near the fire pits. So that's, yeah. that's, we hope to have that sometime soon. I won't put a, I won't, that I will not put a, uh, a date on. A date on, but it's, uh, it's in the works as well, so. Yeah, but it's uh, they're definitely it's good. I think that's gonna. I think this bar is awesome as it is, and I think that's gonna bring. A it whole is lot fantastic. More oh, this is my favorite bar. Uh, the cab yeah. the cabana on the other side there was like my favorite spot in the whole campground. You just yeah. feel like your blood pressure drops like ten points as oh, soon as you walk you in there. Well, you come down here, it's just a different. It's a, it, up there's a more hectic, a little yeah. more. It's nice. It's it's it's, it's got its, it's got its pros and cons, but this is where I would be if I could stay here. I'd be down here. Mm -hmm. To me, it's just and it's awesome. And, and with the, the lights and the cabana and the TVs and everything we've done to this area down here, putting some bigger umbrellas out there at the pool deck with the swing arm. So just making it more inviting and more friendly. And there's you could literally have a thousand person party down here. There's hundreds of tables and chairs and everything else. It's pretty fantastic. And of course, you got the entertainment of the people trying to uh, wakeboard out there and everything. Yes. yes. And sometimes it is entertaining. Especially when old guys like us try to do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for making the magic happen for the drinks and food. That's a, that's a big part of the package here at the Margaritaville RV Resort and Cabana Cabins. Check them out online, guys. If you want to chill, come down to the chill bar. There's a whole other story between the, on the lights. It's got quite a light package on it. Very cool. Even the golf carts are cool here. Move like that, just that real smooth like that. I don't like get down like that. Turn around, make it bounce like that. Didn't you know you can hang like that. Sipping on champagne like that.
Get chill. Surprised. Oh, boom. It's so, gonna be next level. Oh, man. He won, did I tell you, he won first place in Jeep H22 for the sound system That's award. That's a big deal, man. That's Holy a big deal. Holy crap, with all the, look at that sunset. Larry. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna just bring that sucker down to Julio and let him give it to him for, he makes all of his fiberglass speaker holders and blah, 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 all that stuff. I mean, all the boxes are in there, but there was like a bunch. What do we got here? This is absolutely freaking beautiful, Rob. This is our check-in, our camp store. It looks like magic, man. That's what it looks like. And it, we're going to the, the Emerald City. camp store <laughs> three years. Is this a campground or is this the Emerald City, Dorothy? Well, then, the, the, look at the details. So these are kind of the things that I man. think that we set apart. These are our steps going into the camp store. All right, so oh, just, oh yeah, it's gonna be even textured the, and everything. Even the, steps have, even the steps have to be special around here. Yeah, but, <laughs> but wait till I take y'all into our recreation area. Where do you see the recreation area? Which boys, is that girls. blue and, and white building in front of you right here. That's like a freaking gymnasium, man. 18,000 square foot of fun. That's what I'm talking about. And I'll, we'll go in there, but let me show you. This is what we call the common area or the hill. The hill. So we go up the hill, and as you see, we're a little late for it, but the beautiful sunset that we get every night. Oh, yeah, that was nice. With the palm trees and our tiki bar. Look at that. I mean, it's a little Hold late. On. I'm looking at the wrong side. I'm always on the wrong side, folks. I'm sorry. Look at this. This is called the hill. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh my God. I know. Oh, hold on, I was on the back of the, the gator here going the wrong way. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is this is unbelievable. I, this is the first time we've seen this, folks. This is next level stuff here. Now what you're look seeing here with the chairs wow, to I'm your excited. right, <laughs> these are our common area of the fire pits. And this is where friendships, a whole bunch of friendships starts up here. We got the, wow. the main tiki bar, the fire pits up here. We've, this is beautiful. The kids play right here on the green. That's no, that's not grass. It's AstroTurf, so wow. they don't get dirty. And we have Gaga Ball there and so other games ball. that we set up. So this is our main bar. And we see the hot spot, folks, right here. Wow. What's up with it? What are you, a waterfall over here too? Yeah, so that's oh, our main look at pool. This. Look at this, this is ridiculous. Wow. Now look to your right, and this is our Parrot Island Mini Golf. Will you just course. look at it? I mean, look at it. You know, sometimes when I see that, I just want to say, would you just look at that? Sometimes you have to just look at it. Yeah, because you just want to look at it. <laughs> it's freaking, what? You got mini golf too? Don't play me, look at this, look at this. Yeah, so this is, um, this wow. looks easy, but let me tell you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> everybody that plays this are like, wow, this is a challenge. So we have nine holes right here. Landscaping is next level, man. Oh, yeah, you see, somebody got a one in the hole. That's remarkable. Yep, so we have two waterfalls here on this side and one on the west side. Nine holes, and as you see, more pristine area. Well, Christy. Oh, you'll probably kick my butt, but we'll give it a shot. So all you do, you know where the camp store is, right? Yeah. You go in, you tell them you want to play, and it's, guess how much it costs? Nothing, it's free. I saw that, it was So you get to play this, and we have the putt-putts and the balls right in the main office. Sunset's just ridiculous. It's beautiful. I mean, it's like pink and purple and blue and cotton candy. And guess what, did I tell you this before that my wife Nina and I live here and we gotta deal with this every night? <laughs> you know your stress level must go through the roof when you come home. Oh. <laughs> no lawn to mow, it's all after. I know. So yeah. that's one cool thing about every one of our sites, we have no real grass at your sites. It's AstroTurf. So therefore, there's no good time to mow grass or water your grass. We put, you know, if it was water, you would have hard water spots on your custom paint job or wet grass on your motor home or fifth wheel, not here. So it we, stays spotless, there's no oh, yeah. dust, no dirt. And we and, sprinkle. And, and there's no trees dropping pine needles like at a, like Alabama <clears throat> campground, I'm oh, still picking them out of there. And that's, so for some that's a, 
I don't know if you call it a complaint, but that's, you know, people well, say, well, like you don't have any pain in the ass, shade. Man. You try yeah. to get up on the roof and pick yeah. pine needles out of it, you know? Right. But, you know, the motif here is palm trees, you're, you know, tropical, not oak trees. So this is what we use throughout the resort. Drip line. You see this, this line right here? This is how we water all of our plants, and it doesn't get up on your RV. Fantastic. So, be, or yeah. What are these buildings over here? Well, we have two restaurants on scene, too. Oh, we we mentioned we have two restaurants? Two, <laughs> two restaurants, which we'll be eating there tonight. Fantastic. And then to your right in the background over there, we have a 147 foot long slide. Oh, come on. <laughs> that even you can ride Don't on me. it. <laughs> I want to. Where is it? It's the yellow. Oh, that's, that's, that's tomorrow the, morning. Yep. Hey, tomorrow morning, Christy, the slide, the pool. And uh, what is it called? Rope? What is it called? Skiing? Rope skiing? Oh, the uh, cable park. Cable park. You're going to be Christy, one busted you, up Christy, dude tomorrow. you down for the cable park or what? Yeah. Um, well, uh, I didn't bring a bathing suit. You don't need it. <laughs> Just some cutoff jeans. Stay, stay yeah. You do. She'll be fine. Yeah. And then you see all the cool lighting that we have all the way Everywhere. around the building. As soon as you pull in, it's all cool lighting. So I we can... that's your thing, Rob. You got, you got some oh, yeah. incredible lights, I on, like your, lights. on your truck. Uh, on, did, did we mention the golf cart is all hooked up too? Oh yeah. Even the golf cart's cool here. So each season, like Christmas, New Year's, Halloween, whatever the season may be, we can change these lights to match the color of the season. So, so those lights are multicolor. Just... Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. RGB That's lights. Freaking remarkable, man. What's this over here? Is this we'll like, come right what, over what's here. What's that right there? I'll even give you the behind the scenes. So. This is our two restaurants called The Feeding Frenzy and Frank and Lola's Pizza. Awesome. Yeah. Not just Havana's or Bananas or Decar... That is Frank and Lola's Pizzeria. So what do you want? You got salad, pizza... So there's our main man right there. What's going on? You the one making the magic happen behind the, behind the, uh, in the kitchen? You're the one making the magic happen, cooking all the good food? Yes. Yeah. But, Awesome. Here's a little behind the scenes. Wow. Beautiful. Everything's brand new here. It's only been here, what, you said two years? Well, this is about a, about a year old in here. Not even a year, yep. And we have two, two sides, you know, the pizzeria is yep. on this, on yep. my left. Yep. And the feeding frenzy. So that's a pizzeria over there? Yep. Very cool. Yep. All stainless steel, top shelf, brand new. And then, first job I ever had was washing dishes in a commercial kitchen, so I'm very familiar with this area right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> top. Made enough money to buy my first car, and then I was out of there. <laughs> it's 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo. That was a few moons ago. I was close. I was going to say a Chevette. <laughs> I had one of those later in life, when, but it wasn't as nice as my Monte. So, again, this pool is a zero walk-in. Awesome for the kids and for the old kids. Yes. And then, back there in the corner, we have a men and ladies uh, changing facility, restroom, showers. Wow. And I have to say, our showers here are Look at this. amazing. This is another area, if you have a high blood pressure, you don't need high blood pressure medicine. You need to come to Margaritaville for a week. Yeah. Shut your phone off and hang out here in the morning, then the chill bar at night. And if oh, your yeah. blood pressure isn't down 20 points, you get a full refund. Pretty okay. much guaranteed. You see our Coke machine, you can have like 60 different kind of soft drinks out of that one machine. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Very cool. Big giant, big ass fans. So, so this does how many different flavors? Oh, I bet you in the 60 range. 60 different flavors. If yeah, you can't it, find the flavor you like in here, you're not thirsty. It's crazy. <laughs> So uh, so we have cups, you know, you buy a cup and it has a chip on it. So when you bring your cup here and put it under, it reads it and then the machine turns on and then you can uh, drink all day long, soft drinks for the kids. So you buy the cup once and it keeps refilling through the day. Awesome. Yeah. So then, the, you know, they don't have to go ask mom and dad. So for, you order inside it and then pick up And here. then it comes right out here. Look here. One stop shop. Look here. Pick order up here. It's right there. We put that up for all the smart people like yeah. yourself. Yeah. Sometimes they need, uh, sometimes they need <laughs> a little directions. One, two, three, four, five, six massive, what are those, like 80-inch big screens? 80s, yeah. 
you want to come watch the game. And, the, and then the sound system that it's not on now, but holy cow, is that awesome. Kicks butt. Is Julio the guy who did your sound systems here? Oh, yes. Wait, uh, when we go into the uh, event hall. Yep. State-of-the-art LED system in there and the speakers. And, and the, uh, oh, we also have a 14 by 22 foot um, movie screen. Wow. So we can have movie night in there. And, and movie theater here too? Oh, yeah. So oh he, he turned it on and tested out the sound system and it was Top Gun when he turned oh, it on and the jets sounded like they were flying from this way to that way. It, oh, it, man. Was, it was amazing. <laughs> Sounds awesome. So back here across the back end of the pool area, we have a beautiful laundry room. Would you look at it? Laundry room. And you have a phone app that you don't have to carry cash in there. You can use the app to turn on your wow. washer dryer. And then <clears throat> we have this little fins up rally room. So it's just a little room. If you got, you know, 15, 20 of your friends, you want to play any type of card game or board game and it's raining out, you can go in there. We got tables that you can move around, set up however you want right there in this little rally room. Very cool. So this is a laundromat right over here. Again, everything's brand new here. So these these are these are brand new, top of the line, fresh, not a scratch. I don't even smells clean in here. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah, most most campground laundromats you go in are scary. We're like, man. <laughs> and there's this is this is this is next level, man. There's nothing growing in our washers or dryers. <laughs> How about that? And that's the, uh, this is available, anybody can use this meeting room? Yep, you just go to the office and say you want to use it, and if no one's using it. For a birthday party? Now look at here, you, you, you notice my... Uh, oh, we got the gym, I gotta, uh, gotta get back to basics here, pump some iron. Oh. Yeah. You, you see my physical manly shape, I, I work out here, so. Very cool. Yeah. So they got a gym too? Christy, let's see how many, so many pull-ups the old man can do. Okay. Want a little pull-up con contest? Okay, here we go. You're going to be competing against how yourself. Many, how, many, how many of you guys think I got in me? I'm, I'm 220-something pounds, almost 60 years old. Let's see if I can do a pump. Okay, I've got Junior, Junior, 12. Junior said he'd be happy oh. if I can do one. <laughs> I got 12 on you. Should I do it this way or this way? Um, whichever way, sir. <laughs> Oh, he might beat my 12. There's our 147 foot long, awesome slide. I gotta try this out for sure. Should I do it right now? Absolutely. <laughs> Get wet. <laughs> Look at this, man. They got a water park here too. That is badass. I'm definitely trying this tomorrow, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, man. And the pool's heated. So it's heated to 82 degrees. Wow. That's like something you'd see at a water park. Right. Look at it. It's huge. And then just beyond that to your right is where all the little kitties can have their own pool. They got their splash pad over so here. You got, a, you got a little kitty 
splash pad for little ones over here? Oh yeah, with the little games and the water works. I'll be back here with my grandkids as soon as I get some. <laughs> Hurry up, kids. Hint, hint. We ain't getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. I mean, look, it looks like something out of a postcard, doesn't it? Right. It really does. And that's this right outside. This is why the kids want to come here instead of Disney. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to hop in a bus and get herded around like cattle. Travel. And to the park and pay extra to go here, there, and everywhere. This Usually it's a very, inclusive. I took my kids to Disney, a very stressful experience. For the parents, mm -hmm. this is an unstressful experience. Right. And that's what it's supposed to be about, right? So, now. yeah, and what we do have around here, all, all, all the way around the resort, is we have a beautiful camera system. And we have 24-7 rangers, um, and we are all radioed. We all have radios. And then in the event that your son or daughter is missing, or they've, you know, eaten over there with their friends, We've got cameras here that we can rewind live time it and find them which way they went. And we re normally recover a lost child in two to three minutes. So. And crime is virtually non-existent in Margaritaville yeah. for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. And that's one of them. Yeah. Again, no stress. That's what it's about. You don't, you don't have to worry about getting ripped off or your kids getting lost or <clears throat> anything like that. Right? Just relax and have a good time. God knows we needed this, <coughs> huh, Christy? Oh, my gosh. We did. Thanks so much. This is like so cool. We all need to chill out here at the pool. Y'all been going forever and ever, amen. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow's the big day. So you have to film him going down because I'm oh, not going to be oh here God, tomorrow. Totally. I'm ready to do it right now, but we're, but we're going to dinner, and I don't know if I want, it, yeah, if I want me in there all stuff wet. It's like taking your, your wet dog to dinner, you know? I'm going to get it here. <laughs> wow. Look at, and look at the view of this. It's, just, it's pretty much a play pool. It's you know, beautiful the, at night. It's, the deepest area in this pool is five feet. So you don't have to tread water. You can stand anywhere around in the pool and chill. Yep. You don't need to exercise, just relax. No. Nope. And in relation, in relation to where the pool is and the restaurants, so the restaurants are top left over there in the yellow building. And, and your bar's over there. And straight across is the tiki bar. And you leave the kids over there. Oh, yeah. And let me let me show you this. We're pretty proud of these. So we'll go in the men's room being that. Yeah, I had seen a video of the bathrooms. And I, we'll and come I, and see it live right here. Wow. So All granite. Look yep. at that. You guys must have spent what most campgrounds cost just in granite. <laughs> right? I mean, each one of your... And then look at these. They're wow, look at these showers, man. Big granite walk-in showers, the rain shower head. Oh, yeah. So everything's brand new. And then... And it, and it smells brand new in here, this, too. There's a the smell emission on the camera. That one's massive. Yeah. So you got a little change in area and stuff like that. And it's you can, right you can off hose off your golf cart in there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Nothing like brand new bathrooms, man. You know, in a... In a campground, you just, you just you just don't see this. Wash your hands. You just don't see this kind of really nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Ladies yeah. room was as, as nice as just, the men's room. Yeah, just as nice. Very impressive. And our hospitality team is spot on. They are on every inch of this property every day, keeping it clean. Everybody's been super friendly. Yeah. Um, everybody's happy here. You know, especially the, the clients. The ones down, we bet down in the bar seem pretty happy too. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> happy are, they're all having a great time. Look at this, look at these pavers. It's beautiful. And in the summer when it's in the 90s and you know, touching 100 degrees, these pavers don't get hot to walk on, so. Wow. And we went ahead. On like blacktop, and, it would get very hot. It right. Stay cool, it reflects it. <laughs> And then we went ahead and did an extra step on every paver in here is sprayed. We have a, a, a chemical put on there, so no moss or what do wow. you call it? Um, the mold grows on it or no anything. No foot fungus growing here, huh? Right. No <laughs> foot fungus. Yeah. It could be a thing these days, you know? Yeah, so it's... The pool's um, beautiful. It is. Crystal blue, clear. And seating, man, you'd have to have... <laughs> So, you have to have a big party to fill all the seats. It's always a seat at right. Margaritaville. <laughs> so how I describe it when people go, well, what is your pool like in the, in the area up here in the common area? I say this. This is like a big cruise ship 
that landed in an RV resort. Would you, would you agree? <laughs> exactly. I love it. That, well, right? That is totally the tiki bar, this beautiful pool and all this. It just looks like a big cruise ship landed and here forever. So That's a spectacular way to describe it. I, yeah. I need to write that one down. Christy, show them again these chairs. This is kind of a big deal. I'm six foot two. Sit down on that chair. These chairs are, are like... Here, I'll, let me do it. Here. Yeah. This is nor normally I'm six foot two, right? I had back surgery a couple years ago, broken all my bones. I'm like, oh, you look evil. And uh, for me to get in and out of one of these chairs, sometimes this thing is like it's it's high up off the ground. Yeah. It well, reclines totally. So I mean, they, they literally thought of everything as far as your comfort and uh, you know safety and everything here. It's it's really just everywhere you look, there's details that that you may not see the first time. Right. And what you just saw when he sat on the chair. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, mister. So let's go ahead and throw some tan on those getaway sticks. Hey man, yeah, I got, <laughs> I got, I got glow in the dark. Wow. Looks like, I, looks like I missed leg day a couple wow. times, but hey man. <laughs> those are some cool getaway sticks you yeah, got there, buddy. I got some issues, man. <laughs> We've been in the great white north too long. <laughs> but yeah, you can get a tan here. Oh yeah, yeah, it feels good to be down in uh, Now guys, if you want to come here, you can fly into Tampa International Airport from Bradley direct up in the Northeast or, or Boston, Logan, uh, JFK, and be here in two hours. You watch a movie and you're here, basically, you know? Yep. That's the closest big airport, right, Tampa? Uh, Tampa and Orlando. They're Tampa. about the same distance uh, from each side. Rent a car and ride over. Yep. And your, your vacation has begun. Leave your cares behind. You come up for a three-day weekend. You can rent the cabanas here. They've got these beautiful cabanas. We should we should show them the inside of the, one of the cabanas uh, tomorrow because I yeah. think those are worth Oh yeah. You know, when you look at them from the outside, you think it's just a camper. On the inside, it looks like a resort home. And they're yeah. all brand new. We'll get a key and go in there tomorrow, but check this out. So let's say you have a birthday party and you want to have your own little area. Oh, look at there. Try before you pry. So you walk in this big, beautiful place. Wow. And let me go down here. So you remember the wall that was painted down by the chill pool? Everything smells brand new in here. It yeah. smells like a brand new building. Uh, the painting, I can't wait for the, this is wow. freaking amazing. Look up, look up. Sam. Oh man, even the ceiling's done. Uh-huh. This is- So awesome. we're almost done. Wow, this is We've ridiculous. We've got to finish the back wall with the paint. This is unbelievable. It looks like a, like a real life aquarium. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So coming is, uh, lights that'll be in the roof that'll make this look like it's moving seriously rob how much did you guys spend on granite like a million dollars look there's a twenty thousand dollar granite counter yeah there, <laughs> there was probably it was like uh, a couple hundred bucks yeah a couple hundred bucks yeah. seriously look at this this is this is the top shelf top of the line a sheet of granite like this yeah this has got to be this is big bucks man and it's beautiful and it's all the same it matches throughout and, the whole resort and it forever too mm -hmm. right i mean we'll, we'll be dead and gone this granite will still look great right yeah well that's why you do it once it's yeah. cheaper if you do it first if you do it right the first time that's what you did everything in the campground that's what we try to do and a lot of these ideas come from people like you and other rvers that come in and say you know the cool ideas that they've seen somewhere else or ideas they come up with their own so that's one thing that we do do is listen to our guests that come here guys if you have a relative or a friend that wants to go on vacation you want to do them a favor forward this video to them and tell them sit down get some popcorn sit down with the wife and kids or the grandkids or the grandparents or whoever whatever your significant other is or or you know your significant whatever yeah um come on down watch the video and just come down here Sp spend a few days i think you'll, you'll come back for sure and you see this? Like this. So, uh, uh, let's see. Took a few few minutes to paint this uh, ceiling and, and walls, I'm sure. Yeah, this is uh, Keith once again. You see here when the uh, when the sun is not oh, so wow. bad. Oh, look at this. You don't have to walk over and touch each blind. Come on. We just we just. <laughs> This is what Chrissy wanted to buy at our house, but it was five grand, and I decided to uh, buy some chrome from a Kenworth instead or something. Oh, I think so we have a bad idea. One, so I can oh. only have always myself to, to blame. This is what you wanted to get, huh, Christy? No, I just see wanted here. one with the cord. Okay. <laughs> see if you rub this right. See, watch as you rub it right. It's like a, a magic there. magic lamp. Wow. This is like magical. <laughs> That's really awesome. 
So what is the main, is this a party room or what is the major function? So this this um, is, this is here we can do birthday parties, small rallies, and then when it's raining and really hot in the summertime here for the kids, um, we have a full-blown activities department. We have a, a full-time activities director. Wow. Lewis takes care of all the games, um, the artwork, and the different things that the kids build in here, whether it's pottery or some type of painting. We can do all the activities in here in the air condition, and they're not out in the rain or you know one of the lighting. many reasons the kids wanted to be here is the oh, yeah. kids wanted to come here instead of disney and they went to both and they said mom yeah. dad can we go back to margaritaville <laughs> and the one thing that parents tell me is you're right they said because you know when you get here they you want to make sure that the internet works because my kids have got to watch their ipads or some type of electronics with their games sadly they don't even lift up their ipads mostly when they're here they're it's like the 80s, how kids are playing out here on their bicycles, wow. their skateboards, doing crafts and arts. And it's just cool to see all the kids being kids. They're playing and sometimes breaking stuff or, you know, it's kids and, and they're having a great time here. So can't think of a higher recommendation than yeah. that, putting away the iPhones. Oh, my. It's a big deal. Yep. It's a it's a cool thing because a lot of parents come up and say that, man, you are right. Our kids didn't even touch the iPad this weekend. We'll be back. These are some of the rental carts that they have, and uh, like everything else, it's, is brand new here. So aren't the carts state of the art? Yeah, you shouldn't have any problems seeing that rolling around no, the resort. No, the kids will see it coming. If so, you don't like green, they got a black one over here, and they also have that's more my speed. And then they got the, the <laughs> if you got a big family, that's for our, yep. That's our activities cart. And our ranger, all of our rangers have their own golf cart. So if they need to respond somewhere in the resort for some type of whatever, each one of them have their own golf cart. Very cool. Wow. This is all handmade. My buddy Julio makes this for us here at the resort. So he does stereo systems and this kind of stuff. He's a handy guy to have around, huh? And a Jeep. Oh, yeah. He does our Jeeps and stuff. But he's made this out of wood, wrapped it did all the artwork and stuff like that so this is our he's an artist too yep one of our sign boards he's a talented guy oh he's awesome and then here well look at there here's miss kinsey hi miss kinsey wait where are you going okay she had enough for one day bye hi ladies some people never want to leave look at this huh so you come in here and this is where our reservations right behind the uh white wall Everything's and you brand new. Come Perfect. in here and sit down and chill once again while you do your reservations. Just beautiful. Oh, guess what? More granite countertops. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want to take one home with you? I do. I want to upgrade. I'll my see if we have uh, an extra one laying around. Man, yeah. Really Everything. Beautiful. Big giant tile floors. This is oh, a two yeah. by two. Uh, I don't want to call this kind of tile, but it sure is beautiful. Big squared tile. Big square, beautiful yeah. tile with yeah. one in between. That's it. the scientific <laughs> name. That's the fancy description. So we'll step around here and we'll go into the camp store. We got. Did, did we? Did we mention they have a camp store? And in the camp store, we have your necessity food items, drinks, and nice. uh oh. This is ways to know somebody with keys. Yeah, we need this. <laughs> we can do some after hour shopping. <laughs> Chrissy needs a few essentials. Oh my, we never went grocery shopping. We're gonna eat at the restaurants tonight. Awesome. Yep, we are here after hours. Can you turn the light on? Can you turn the light on one more minute? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody with the keys. Come here. In. I want to introduce you to the world. See the silo right here? So, Hello. ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I'm nice. Nice to meet you. you. This is Amanda. Hi. And she's one of our specialists with the uh, reservation. <laughs> and she works up here at the uh, front counter. Mm -hmm. And she was one of, she was our first female ranger. I'm so glad you introduced that part. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
So what happens when you when you come here in your RV or if you rent a cottage, we have rangers at the front station and each time you come, we find out what site you're staying in and you get escorted right directly to your site. So you're never roaming around in your RV by yourself. We will guide you to your site. And Amanda was one of the ones that carried you to your site. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, your store here is beautiful, uh, like everything else we've seen. They got ice cream for the kids. They've got sandwich foods, every drink you get, anything you can. Look at these cool want. cups. Tell them about how these work. So the guests can purchase these, um, and they get them refilled. They good good for like five days, and you can refill them every day. Um, so they, they could use them for like, especially for a long term stayers. For the ones that stay longer than the three days, they can purchase these, and it's worth them while. Awesome, and it's and it's a keepsake. That's a yes. momentum. Yes, definitely. For the yep. kids. Yep. So that works out well. Very cool. Everything's the, just so beautiful here. It's unbelievable. See, this is my Sam. Thank you, Jimmy Buffett. You know me well. Amen. Right. Yeah, that's it. I think that's you too. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm so I'm uh, 60 going on 18. Yeah. <laughs> wow. We got everything in here. You want a little Dunkin' Donuts while you're here? They got that too, okay? They even got pickles. If the wife's pregnant, has a pickle so craving, you got it all covered here. Chips, snacks, wine. Hey, babe, want a bottle of wine? Sure. We got bottles of wine, sandwiches. And so in addition to the two restaurants and two bars, you've got a full camp store with pretty much anything you really oh, need yeah. anyways. And, and if you want a little make your own charcuterie i learned that word here charcuterie board look we're here a little culture here, we, right? we've got boar's head man we are talking high in boar's head that is the better the good stuff oh yeah man None of the cheap, and this is one of here. our guests he makes this and this is his company and we put it in our store and can't yeah, keep it on the fire. show i think you're gonna need some water or, or some cold cold drinks cold drinks after that one amen so yeah so that's really good stuff right there. Did we say today is a good day for a good day? I think so. Yep, and then on this side of the store, if you forgot something in the kitchen, or if you forgot your extension cord, or what were you doing this morning, starting from the bottom up? Yes. Your poop tube? Yes. Yep. We that's have, in another video, folks. Yeah. So we got that, we've got extension cords. I mean, we just got all the necessities toys for the kids that's a reason three kids myself I can tell you um, I can't think of a better way to spend a, a, a vacation week with the family unwinding and you're in Central Florida if you want to go see stuff there's all kinds of stuff to see oh, yeah. from alligators to amusement parks and everything in between it's all here if you drink too much in the bar you even got something that'll help you out in the morning oh yeah <laughs> hey here's a professional tip Boof. Well, once you start drinking, if you take some B12, no hangovers in the morning. Perfect. So when you go home after the toddies, pop about three or four B12s. You're good to go. No hangovers. So there's really no reason to leave, man. Uh, if you, whatever you left at home, you can get here. And then so one-stop shop you know, for all your vacation needs. Here's some video they've taken previously on the big screen playing here. A couple of aerials I wanted to show you. There's where you pull in right here. Dialing in the projector, the new We're in the store the right that now. came in. And you go around the side, that's the water tower right there. And uh, you can see it's big, wide open roads. No trees hanging over to damage your RV. Big wide pull throughs and you got like 40 feet from the guy next to you so you don't have to worry about you know, infringing on their privacy or vice versa. Well lit, clean, paved roads. Plenty of shady areas to hang out. Everything you need right here. In the pool, of course. Pretty cool aerial view. People just chilling. Wow, look at that rig. Ooh, That's a nice rig right that. there. Who owns that? Wow. Looks like the mayor owns that one. Wow. Something the mayor would have, or the congressman would drive. <laughs> Just walked outside and reminded me, all of the buildings are thoroughly air conditioned, nice and no humidity. And then you walk outside, you can feel that warm Florida air. 
but uh, far cry. Yeah, far cry from freezing cold Connecticut. I check this out. Rob was mentioning earlier that this is a spot a lot of fr new friendships are formed and old friendships. How are you? Out and tell stories. I mean, do these people look stressed to you? Look at them. They're all super happy. And a little chilly Florida night. It's nice and warm. Look at this tiki bar, man. Chief. Over here. Hollywood. What's up, babe? How you doing, my friend? Very man, good. it is good to see you. Same. This is my buddy Chief, retired uh, police, police chief. chief from Fairhaven, Massachusetts, Fairhaven. where you have been. That's yes. where I rode your woods. motorcycle. I rode, up there. <laughs> rode my motorcycle all the way up there. But listen, that's awesome. Have you ever seen a 90 year old guy with a beautiful set of hair like that? 90 years old. And that's Telling not you. a wig. We're your neighbor from Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, old. 90 years. <laughs> 90 old. years. Not years, old. years. Years. <laughs> from well, staying at Margaritaville is what's keeping you young, right? Well, this is a beautiful place. I um, love having the mayor, being a friend of the mayor. He's, uh, <laughs> he keeps the place under control, and uh, not only has he got a great personality, he kind of needs a shave, but that's it. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long day. <laughs> but he's day. a great guy. He's, uh, he's been my friend for a long time. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm proud to know him. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. What a spectacular bar you have here. This is just awesome. Really nice. Oh, did we mention did we mention that all the countertops are granite? Oh, did yeah, did you, you see must, that? Rob, hey Rob, I think, you, I think you have like two acres of granite here. <laughs> Just over. So we're friends with people up at Stone Mountain. Yeah. So you're, we get this you're stuff. You're their biggest stuff. client. Yeah. <laughs> you might be their only client. Right. After this place is done, I think we're they gonna had to take close. all their granite. They had to close, man. They ran out. Everything's super the like, artwork here is just is this Julio too? No, th this is all Keith. He did the wall down here. Spectacular. He did the uh, retreat room. How many big screens in here? One, two, three, four, eight, eight, eight big screen TVs. If you don't like what's playing over there, just, just tell look us over what here. you want. You know? And we'll also uh, tailor the viewing to whatever game you want to watch, I guess. Or Supercross. Hey, can we watch Supercross uh, here? Instead of going to Tampa, be able to stay here. Well, you, yeah, you should be able to log into Peacock and do it. How about yeah. that? Just unbelievable. What's, what's over there? So this is what we call the green. So again, we've got a, another uh, area. Uh-oh, look at this guy. We have a hey, celebrity here. Over here. Oh, yeah. This is the number one RV rep repair guy east of the Mississippi, Mark DeCandia. Yeah. How you doing? Yes. <laughs> How you doing, doing buddy? Rob. Jack Weaver. So these guys... We talked about them earlier on oh the video. Oh my gosh. Didn't we? Yeah, but these guys here, now that you can see them, so obviously we have a Grand Design Solitude, and they came right here to the resort and took care of my issues like that. It was now, amazing. Now they don't want to leave. <laughs> right. It's great. They're back again, so I love having you guys here. Right. This is my yeah. first time. Right. Matt was the last. Matt, yeah. yeah. The two M's, Matt and Mark, were here, but yeah. this guy's a new guy. What yeah. do you think so far? Huh? You, you like? Oh, I like it, yeah. Yeah? We, you yeah. think you'll be back? Oh, yeah, if I can. All right, yeah. all right. Well, we'll make it happen. Spectacular. <laughs> sure. Okay. By Grand Designs, you can come right here to the park, and these guys will show up and fix it if you ever have a problem with it. How, yeah. how good is that? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. surface with yeah. a smile. Uh, lens. These fire pits are all over the so place. So we're going to turn the stereo just, on and watch that one. Or this one. This one. Yeah. yeah. They're all over the place. Yeah. So, this is the first time I had to come up and meet the mayor. Yeah, I had to meet the mayor. I said, hell, what, this place is awesome. Who, how, do you, how do you be a mayor? I want to be the mayor of, uh, what is this, Margaritaville. Hell yeah. yeah. You, you, you coming back? I'm coming back. Yeah, we're coming back. You got your sidekick with you there? I got my little, she went to that she? side. Oh, That's a little red. Oh, there yeah, she is. Yeah, it's honey. They're dog friendly here too. Did I mention yeah, that? Yeah, it is. Really good. Dog, dog friendly. She had a good time too? Great time. Yeah. Disneyland yeah. for dogs. But I just had to introduce myself to the damn mayor. Well, I thank you for walking over here to meet me. Not a good deal. So listen, to you and to all you guys yes, and yep. girls watching, when you come back again, right? my discount code to you is the mayor. The mayor. So if you go online or you call up on the phone, you type in the mayor and you get my discount and it never expires. How about that? You get How about you? Huh? Good deal. Thanks, sir. I appreciate you no, very thank much. You.
All Thank right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Same. Oh Thank you for being here. Oh, we enjoyed it. Thank you. Look at that. What? There Can't she is. One. That's Mrs. Mayor. Where's the operation? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to with us? Where are you going? I don't well, know. We're going over there to the, to the <laughs> event. On. Hop on. I can walk. Where are you going? Will you look at this? What? What do you oh got my. here, Mr. Mayor? This is our new baby. Oh my God. Come on in. Party Central, man. You got your own, holy moly. You got your own private theater and, uh, do you have football games in here? Oh my. <laughs> We're gonna Seriously. walk up to the front. Dude, you can have a Supercross in here, man. <laughs> oh my. So Julio's here and he's uh, setting up all the sound system I like for this guy. I haven't even met him and I, I'm I mean, already a huge I fan. I know, he's awesome. <laughs> His work, we got a, his, his work precedes him. Oh, it does. Look at that screen. That's a 14 by 22 foot screen. It's a freaking movie theater, brother. <laughs> the sound system in here is amazing. Hey, can to we say do the, the Top least. Gun, the Top Gun um, demo I'm, here? I'm going to see what he's got going on. <laughs> Check these floors out. You got to see this. Did I, did I tell you everything smells brand new in here? Hold on. Where's the granite countertops? <laughs> we know there's some in here. <laughs> they're, they're, they're over there in the corner. They're but the check corner. this out. So, this was all a cement floor. And we've textured the floor it to make like it look like planks. Wood. It's right? ridiculous. Now look at this over here, will you? I don't know if it'll come out. It's oh dark. Look at this. Now all you got to do is look, look at, at this it. big fish. <laughs> look at the big fish. Hold on. You to, am I supposed to take my shoes off when I walk on this? Or oh, what, no, man? you can. Can't, does it come out? Not really. It's too dark. Oh. There's a big fish on the, on the, in the ground here. Maybe we'll turn the lights on. Wow. We'll film in a minute. Everything's brand new in here. This brand, everything's brand new. This is massive, man. You could you could drive a truck in here, literally. It's got big giant garage doors. I love these doors. Here. These are um glass, big glass doors. Freaking awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So after a day at the uh, water park and the pool and hitting up the bars and restaurants, you come in and watch a movie. Right. Okay. Good. That sounds good. We're gonna do a video. Is this the guy who's making the magic happen here? Is this Julio? Hey! Man, I am a huge fan of your work already. <laughs> Thank you. Thank your work you. is next level, man. Thanks. Like off the hook. And you're a man of uh, many talents too. I saw the artwork you did and the, 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 the boards you built and yeah, the sound thanks. systems and my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank this you. Is, this is Lori calling me about that room. <laughs> oh? Hi. I want you to meet. He's right over here. I brought him. So is this your handiwork here, the, the sound system and everything? Yes. Me, Give us a quick description. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got here? Oh, we have a FPD um, outdoors and indoor speakers. Um, Where are they from? Italy. Italy. Yeah, speakers the, from Italy. Quality stuff. No China. Absolutely. This that. guy. Pff, <laughs> yes. Oh my. High high end um, components inside here. We have uh, two amplifiers, thirty four hundred. 3,400 watts each? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. It'll like electrocute you. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna Don't sound stick your awesome tongue on in that here. One. <laughs> so this is what we call the Paradise Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Paradise Pavilion, I like it. And just look up above. This is our projector and tell them about the special lens that's on that thing. Yes, uh, that's a Sony AVL model and it's a 15,000 um, lumens. 4K laser projector. So don't look directly in there, you'll be blind, no, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, they have a, a, a warning height. Then if you are right there, it's like a cone, then you need to be out of it. Wow. Yes. Wow, so the laser will actually uh, burn your hair right off your head, probably. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it, hey, maybe you should put your legs in front of that. Yeah, they, they get a little tan, man. They're, glow, they're, they're, glowing, they're glowing in the dark yeah. right now from Those the are northern some, hemisphere. Give them a, give them a little volume. Yes. So, that well, do that, pre yeah, that preview. preview. Mm -hmm. And it's still on mono. IMAX. Well, you know what he's done with this sound? He, the, the acoustics in this building are like being in an IMAX mm -hmm. where you, you can have all the volume, but you can still can talk. That's what, everything's like up here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds but, incredible. Wow. Rob said he watched a Top Gun movie here, and it, you could hear the, 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 the jet engines going by, and he said it was just absolutely incredible. So we met at the RV show. Okay. He's They have an HDT. Okay. Like okay. mine. Yeah. They have a, a, a 
the DRV. Car. Yeah, the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got okay. a Volvo. Okay. So he saw our setup, yeah. like, dude, yeah. can I do a video? I'm like, sure, who are you? And then I did, he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm me, like a little guy. I'm like, damn. So he did a 35 minute interview with me in the truck. And then we Now this is not in stereo yet, right? No. 